It's easy to romanticize old Hollywood as an era filled with glamour and grace, but celebrities back then were hardly angels and often found themselves embroiled in scandals that will completely shock you. Let's uncover 10 Vintage Hollywood Scandals. Number 10. Gene Harlow's Husband during the 30s, Jean Harlow was one of the biggest names in Tinseltown. Men wanted to be with her and women wanted to be her. The idea that a man who was married to such a household name would ever be miserable was unthinkable. However, in 1932, Harlow's husband's body had been found naked next to a gun and a suicide note. Strangely enough, her husband died the night he was supposed to meet his ex-wife. What makes this situation even more strange is that his ex-wife, a woman by the name of Dorothy Millette, was also found unalive only a week later. Police investigation showed that the circumstances were suspicious, but it was officially ruled a suicide. Stranger still, the brass at MGM also stepped in to help Harlow clean up things in her studio. What really happened, the world may never know. Number 9. Stan Laurel's Messy Divorce Laurel and Hardy were a double act in the early days of classic Hollywood. Hardy was the bully and Laurel was the bumbling straight man. However, off screen and off stage, Stan Laurel was a violent alcoholic man, and this became known when he went through his third divorce. Vera Shuvalova claimed that her husband had threatened her with a firearm. Her friends also once had to intervene when Laurel dug a grave in their backyard while proclaiming that he was going to bury her alive. Thank God she was finally able to divorce her husband. The only thing which ultimately suppressed the scandal was the fact that Shuvalova was forbidden from talking about publishing anything about her marriage to Laurel when she signed their divorce agreement. This definitely saved the actor from having more problems. Number 8. Loretta Young and Clark Gable Loretta Young, a staunch Catholic girl, was one of Hollywood's first child stars to transform into a full-fledged movie star. She had a fling with a fellow co-star named Clark Gable while taping Call of the Wild. At that time, most women who found themselves pregnant in Hollywood would be forced to have an abortion in order to keep their jobs. Young, on the other hand, wasn't having any of it. In an incredibly risky and slick move, she hid her pregnancy and even had a sick bed interview to stage herself as sick from a mystery illness. She gave birth in secret, then came out to Hollywood as a lady who had decided to adopt an orphan baby named Judy as a single mom. This baby has certainly been loved a lot by his mother. Number 7. Fatty Arbuckle Scandal Fatty Arbuckle was the kind of comedian that could be equated with Eric Andre if he lived in our time. He had a huge vaudeville following which later transformed into an extremely impressive $3 million deal with Paramount Pictures. By 1916, it became clear that Fatty Arbuckle couldn't cope with fame. The comedy superstar began to drink heavily, party heavily, and binge eat. One day in 1921, he had decided to rent a couple of hotel rooms for a massive party featuring actresses, ladies of bad reputation, and tons of booze. One of the women in attendance was a teenage actress by the name of Virginia Rappé. Rappé was found in one of the hotel rooms later on sick, shaken, and seemingly hurt. She had claimed that Arbuckle sexually abused her and that she didn't feel well. Upon doctor's inspection, it was found that she had cystitis, which was aggravated by the alcohol she drank. She died later of a ruptured spleen, which was later ascribed to Arbuckle's heavy weight on her. What a tragic end for this young woman. Number 6. Elizabeth Taylor and Eddie Fisher for those who don't know who Elizabeth Taylor was, she was a bit like Angelina Jolie of her time. She was an Oscar-nominated actress who starred in all kinds of films while she took on noble causes in her spare time. She also went through famous relationships after famous relationships. However, the one that caused the biggest scandal occurred when she lost her third husband to a plane crash in 1957. She found comfort in the arms of his old friend Eddie Fisher. The problem was that Fisher was married at the time to Taylor's good friend Debbie Reynolds. The fallout was naturally painful, though the two women managed to reconcile. As for Fisher and Taylor, their relationship lasted five years, so I guess it had been all worth it. Number 5. Charlie Chaplin Kept Marrying Teenagers 
Charlie Chaplin is most commonly known as the famous silent actor who embodied his comical creation, The Little Tramp. With his funny mustache, his awkward humor, and the adorable romance scenes that would be found in almost every one of his movies, it's almost impossible to imagine such an innocent sweet man doing anything even remotely X-rated. Well, that is until you were on set. Many of his female co-stars had come forth to talk about how creepy he was on set. His biggest turn-on, apparently, was girls who were still only young teenagers. He actually married actress Lita Gray after he impregnated her. At the time, Lita was 15 and Chaplin was 35. It gets even worse when you hear that Gray was also pushed by Chaplin to do sexual acts that were illegal at the time, and she was also coerced into having threesomes with the actor. Lita and Chaplin divorced three years later, and Chaplin remarried several more times with girls that were much younger than him. According to the old actor himself, by the time he was in his 80s, he had slept with over 2,000 women. Who brags about this kind of thing? Number 4. Peg and Twistle, The Hollywood Sign Girl Many have been inspired by the iconic Hollywood sign which overlooks the movie-making capital of the United States. But when those inspirations fail, things can take a turn for morbid. In 1932, Peg and Twistle, a struggling actress during the Great Depression, climbed atop the big H in the Hollywood sign, back in the days when it was actually the Hollywood land sign, and tragically threw herself from it. The irony in this sad story is that a letter written to Peg from the Bliss Hayden School of Acting came at her uncle Harold's house not long after she passed away. She was asked to play the lead role in the Beverly Hills Playhouse's next performance, which was about a girl who also ends up taking her own life. This was the most tragic story of that time, and Hollywood still grieves Peg's death. Number 3. Errol Flynn Trial to be fair, Errol Flynn was never exactly seen as an innocent man. Back in his heyday, he was a womanizer and a party animal. This particular playboy took his philandering a little too far when he met an aspiring actress by the name of Betty Hansen. He and the 17-year-old girl ended up drinking together. After a while, she drank too much, got sick, and threw up. Under the pretext of wanting to help her, Errol Flynn took her back to his place and had an intimate relationship with her. The young woman filed a complaint and Flynn was promptly arrested. Flynn's popularity sank after the scandal hit the presses, but eventually he was cleared of charges. He ended up regaining public love and everyone forgot he was even arrested for rape within a matter of months. He probably wouldn't have gotten off so easily today. Number 2. Exploited Teenage Judy Garland Judy Garland, known best for her adorable role as Dorothy in the globally acclaimed movie The Wizard of Oz, was kind of a mess by the time she had gone through her divorce proceedings with her third husband, Sid Luft. Because of the bitterness of this divorce, Judy had to fire Fred Otash, a Los Angeles police officer and private investigator, for protection and also to ensure her husband wouldn't get too much evidence against her for the divorce court. According to Otash, Garland had such a bad substance abuse problem that he had to step in and hide her supplies from her. You wouldn't believe the cleverness of that woman in stashing her substance so nobody could find them. And there were all kinds, uppers, downers, and some I didn't even recognize, he said. Her biggest vices, according to the PI, were alcohol and pills of any kind. Though she was furious with him, Otash did a good job. He explained his rationale to her as follows. Narcotics and alcohol are the best evidence he could ever produce in court. Believe me. To be fair, it wasn't Garland's fault that she was addicted to so many substances. MGM Studios had forced her to take barbiturates, amphetamines, and more just so she could keep her svelte figure. At one point, the studio supposedly had her smoking 80 cigarettes a day just so their appetite would be cut. As a result of the abuse, Garland struggled with eating disorders and drugs all her life. She sadly passed away from an accidental barbiturate overdose in 1969 at age 47. Number 1. Lana Turner's Death Spouse Mobster Johnny Stompanato began an abusive relationship with actress Lana Turner in the mid-1950s. Their relationship was turbulent and frequently characterized by clashes and disputes. 
In 1958, he was stabbed to death by Turner's 14-year-old daughter, Cheryl Crane, who said she did it to protect her mother from Stompanato's violence. The case sparked an international media frenzy and generated much speculation, with many suspecting Turner herself was responsible and then forced her daughter to take the blame. Others speculated that the young girl was in love with her mother's partner, but Cheryl's version never changed. She feared for her mother's life as she heard Stompanato threaten to kill her. Cheryl Crane, who is now almost 80 years old, was given a juvenile jail term at the time, despite the fact that the judge justified the homicide. Which of these vintage scandals shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments section.